Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Stedman. Today I'll be teaching you how to make this beautiful neck warmer or cowl for my daisy set. It's very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try and here is the list of materials you're gonna need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell, that way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I do my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you want to see it in English, go to the main page on my channel that you will find the English version there. So, I will be picking a few sets because they will be uh, some of my Christmas gift. So this one is my daisy set. I already made these other two and they are all made with the same type of, type of yarn. I have this one as well. I'm gonna be leaving the links in here just in case you guys want to start making your uh, Christmas gift. And these sets, let me tell you, your family and friends will love them and yourself so let's start making this beautiful cowl or neck warmer this. to make this cowl or neck warmer for the set with this um, hat I'm gonna start with the leftover yarn that I have from the hat they already here in this bowl the three strand together to start working with if I don't have enough that I don't think I will I have these ones here and the yarn is the loops and thread, look well like simile lane, 100 grams, 620 meter each ball. Uh, the color of this one is purple, this one is lavender, they are fine one, and they are a blend of 85% acrylic, 15% nylon. Um, remember, you don't have to work with this type of yarn, you can use any medium four yarn for this hat okay and neck warmer or cowl for this set uh, the circular needles are five millimeter and they are 16 inches long you're gonna need a marker tapestry needle and scissor and the charts that I'm gonna leave in my Facebook page and in my Instagram and you get the links in the description box below this time we're going to work uh, with two graphs and then now I will explain you why. This is the graph for the hat and this one is the one that we're going to incorporate to do on the uh, cowl or neck warmer. Uh, for the hat we start a uh, um, eight row of dark purple and then at number nine we start in the design at the center. This time we're going to start from row 1 with this chart and then you're going to continue working until row 14 and then 14 is number 8 in here and then 15 is 9 in this one so when you work until row 14 you go back to number 9 at this one and then you will work from 9 to 21 with this design after that you will go back to this graph and then you do the reverse. You will start working from 14 to row 5 with a solid color and then from 4 to 1 with the reverse because remember the hat is done um, we start with the dark and we finish with the light. So in here this part will be the light and then the part in here will be the dark so you will have to change this to the darker purple okay but I will plan that as we work so it's very easy I try to make things as easy as I can for you guys so we're gonna start casting our stitches and we'll cast on 112 stitches plus one to close the circumference we're gonna start with the tubular cast on and we're gonna finish with the tubular bind off we're gonna start leaving a tail long enough to cast on or stitches. You can do a long tail cast on or a short tail cast on. It's up to you how you like to do your cast on on your needle. I like to do the long tail. So I'm gonna wrap in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. 20 and 20 is 40. I'm going to keep it there. And 20 more is 60. Now I'll hold it there and let go to the other. And 60 and 60 is like a, almost 120 stitches. I don't mind to have a little extra tail as long as I have um, enough to cast on my stitches. Because imagine if you have 80 or 90 done and then you realize that you don't have enough, you have to remove them from your needle and come back again and do it all over again. So it's better to have extra when you have to cast on a lot of stitches. So in here I have a very long tail and I'm going to do a, uh, a slip knot. I'm going to pass the needle through those three and I'm going to start casting on my 113 stitches. Remember when you are casting your stitches don't pull uh, your strand with the, especially with this in here because you'll tight the stitches in the beginning and then you don't get an elasticity for uh, your border. So you're going to continue like that until you have your 113 stitches. For mine, what I'm going to do to make things easier for me, this is optional. I didn't mention that you need more marker because it's just in this part and here for casting on the stitches. Every 20 stitches I will put a marker. And that way if I make a mistake counting, I will know that every space between the marker I will have 20 stitches and I don't have to undo all my work and come back all over again to repeat that casting on, okay? Uh, it's much easier. You will see me working with uh, the first Row, uh, row with more marker but it's just because of that because I just want to make easier for me counting every 20 stitches one mark okay so like that you're gonna continue until you have a hundred and 13 stitches. I have my 113 stitches, like you see I have a few markers so in each space between the marker I have 20 stitches so 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, and the 13 in here. So we're going to start with the tubular cast on and we're going to net one and pass the pearl without working. And net one and pass the pearl without working. As to pearl. So the first one is a net and I did a knot with the tail and the working yarn the way that stitch is the same size as the other one. So I'm going to start with one net, yarn to the front, as to pearl, and then you're going to pass the pearl without working. Yarn to the back, and net. Yarn to the front, as to pearl, and then you pass the pearl without working, yarn to the back, and net stitch. Yarn to the front, as to pearl, pass the pearl without working, yarn to the back, and net. In the next round, we're going to close the circumference of the hat, so don't worry about if it's twisted or not here because that don't matter right now. And the next one is when you have to pay attention to that. So, yarn to the front, as to pearl, and pass the stitch without working, and yarn to the back, and net. So you wanna you start with a net and you're gonna finish with a net stitch. And now in this row I'll be removing the, these markers. I finished that row. Now we're gonna close the circumference and make sure that this is not twisted. So now you're gonna remove that stitch out of that needle, the right hand needle. You're gonna place your marker and then you're going to place back the stitch. Now we're going to do this, the opposite from the other uh, needle. We're going to pass the first stitch from the left hand needle to the right hand needle 
and that stitch that is in between the marker and that stitch that we passed, you're going to pull it out no matter if you make it big because when you pull the tail it will get tight so you pass it on top of that needle and then you pull that tail and you close your circumference and your work will be nice and even now we're going to do the opposite of the first row we're going to pass the knit and purl the purl so you're going to purl the next stitch because you will pass that knit without working so you're going to purl that one yard to the back as to knit and you're going to pass that knit without working but like a purl from the front strand yard to the front of purl yard to the back as to knit and then you're going to pass the stitch without working yard to the front a purl and yard to the back as to knit and then you're going to pass the stitch without working like that you're going to continue working all the way around until you finish uh, where the marker is okay so you purl that one and yard to the back and pass the knit without working I will show you quick one more time so that is a knit that you're going to pass without working so yard to the back and you pass that one you see with this needle in the front like a pearl and you pass it and then yard to the front pearl yard to the back pass a stitch without working yard to the front pearl like that and you want to continue until you get to your marker I finished that round I passed the marker now we're going to work one net one pearl so you knit the first one, purl the second one, and continue like that. One knit, one purl, all the way around, and on each round until you have around two inches. After we have that border of one by one rib, we'll start with the first round of the first chart, okay? I will show you one more time. So you're going to purl the pearls and knit the nets. And purl. And the pearls and always moving your stitches to make things easier and I said two inches but you can do less or more is up to you okay I just give you a reference and don't have to be exact two inches maybe a little you know like a few lines more or less So I will meet you here when I have the border and it up and round a one by one rib so you pass the marker and you're gonna continue exactly the same knitting one and purl the next one and knit in the next one and purl the next one. So I will work until I have almost two inches and then I will meet you. So the two inches and centimeter are five centimeters. It's just sometimes I only give inches and I get a question that in centimeter how many, how many centimeters it is. So I had to give them in both. Now we're gonna work in our first chart and we're gonna start in row one. So you have an X, that means that will go with the lighter. Uh, color and the three empty ones are with this uh, dark purple. So I'll call them a dark and a light color. So you're going to pass that strand to that finger and then you're going to pass to your first uh, stitch and then you're going to pass the light purple and do your first uh, stitch. Now with the 
dark purple you're gonna do three nets now you're gonna open your stitches and you're gonna go to the tip of the needle and the next stitch is a light purple and the next one are three dark so you're working one light three dark always open your stitches that way you can get a nice a nice strand in the back and you get a nice uh, elasticity in your hat and your um, well, hat or neck warmer you do the light color now three dark always open your stitches and in the tip you do the next light color three dark open your stitches one light like that you're gonna continue all the way around and you're gonna finish with three dark uh, purple stitches and is one light stitch and three dark one light three dark I finished that round now we're gonna work in number two and number two you start with two um, light one dark three light one dark three light one dark and so on you're gonna finish with one light but first in here so I finish with my three dark stitches you're gonna come here you're gonna move this out of the way and I'm gonna put on the lower part and with the tail and the working yarn you're gonna do a knot a double knot make sure that you don't tight uh, the stitch in here so you're gonna bring the working yarn closer to the stitch in that needle okay and you're gonna do And your first knot, you see, is in the other side in here, leaving a nice uh, separation and that strand. And now I'm going to do the other to secure that stitch and the tail there. And you have a nice strand in the back. Now you're ready to work in round two. So we're gonna start with the two light. So that's one and two. You open those two stitches and do one at the darker purple. Now you do three at the light. One, two, and three open those three stitches one at the dark three at the light open those three stitches and go to the tip and do the dark one three at the light one two and three and always always open your stitches so right now we're doing the opposite of what we did in the other one one dark and three light and like that you're gonna continue all the way around until the last stitch there will be one light color okay now for number three we're gonna do one dark purple three light purple one dark three light one dark three light it's the same as we did in the row before but we just move the stitch okay so we're gonna start with one dark and then three light 
one, two, and three. Open those stitches, one dark, one, two, and three. Open those stitches, one dark. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around and you're going to finish with three light purple. I finished round three. Now we're going to work on round four and you're going to start with two dark purple, one light, three dark, one light, three dark. Is the same as one. The only thing with one, we start with one light because we are moving our stitches around to create the design, okay? So you finish with three lights, so make sure that you open those three stitches and then you bring your stitch to the tip and you do one and two with a dark purple. Open those two stitches and do one with the light. Three with a dark purple. Open those three and do one with the light. One, two, and three with your stitches. Open those, go to the tip, and do one with the light. Like that, you're going to continue all the way around and you're going to finish with one dark purple. I finished round four. Now we're going to work from five to fourteen, and you can you know, mark as you go the round that you done. That way, when you get to 14, you know that in 15, you're going to change to other graph, okay? Um, so now you can cut this one because you don't going to need it anymore until 15. So it's no point to keep it hanging there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to weave it a few stitches before I cut it. So this time I'm going to pass the light purple to my left hand and the dark one and to my right hand and you see the light purple is on top of the dark one. So now when I do my first stitch with the dark, the light one is trapped in here. So now I'm going to do the next one and I'm going to pass this the tip of the needle under the stitch. I'm going to do my yarn over, left the finger to remove that out of the way, and I'm just going to pass the dark uh, color. Now, when you do the next one, I trap mm, the stitch in here. Again, I'm going to pass through the stitch under the light purple, yarn over, left the stitch, and Take that one out. And then when you do the next one, let's weave in the back and you see I'm weaving it in here. I like to do that for a few more uh, stitches. That way, when it's time to secure, it's not done in here where the seam is. So, but remember when you finish with the um, light color to leave a tail to secure because you're weaving it but it's not secure there is loose okay in the inside you see you only have to pass it once under and then the next one will secure it and like that you're gonna continue I'm gonna cut That one. Now I'm gonna work with this color, netting all the stitches until row around 14. I finished with this chart in round 14, and it will look like this. Now we're gonna start this part from round nine to round 21, that is this one in here. So, 
29 to 21. So now 15 will be number 9. Okay? So what I'm going to do, since I already record this part of the hat, I'm going to include now that part of the clip. That way I don't have to record all over this again, this part. Um, but don't worry, you'll see what I did in here. You'll see it now after I finish talking here. So after that, when you finish 21, I will meet you here to do the top part of the uh, neck warmer or cowl that will be like this and the reverse from 14 to row 1 okay so good luck and I see you here uh, when I have this part done so you will have every single step in, in the video plus you have your graph so now we're going to work in uh, round 9 with both color. So the repetition of these motifs are from uh, stitch 1 to 14 and then in here I have 14 and then I start all over again from 1 to 14. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to record my two first motifs in Spanish and then the next two in English because otherwise I will have to frog all that, echo back again and record again and do my work all over again. So I will record uh, my two first one in Spanish and the two, the, the next two in English. But I always is like a starting from a stitch number one, okay? So we're gonna work with both color from round nine to 21 and then after 21 we continue with one color. So before I start uh, showing you the entire two motifs. I want to show you how you're gonna start with a new color because the first two motifs will be in Spanish so this part I will record this and then I will record in Spanish okay I just wanted to show you how you're gonna start with the next color that way you don't end up with the hole in here so this yarn that you are working with the purple you're gonna put on top of this finger and then with a the new one leaving a tail you're gonna come here, you're gonna pass your needle through the first stitch and you're gonna wrap your yarn in here you see and you're gonna pass it through and that's the first stitches I'm gonna show you the first and second and then I will show you how to continue after I do the recording in Spanish you see and then when I finish this entire round what I'm gonna do with the tail of this one I will do a knot in here with these two that way I secure the first stitch, okay? I finished recording this part in Spanish so just pretend that we are starting here with the first stitch I already showed you how to do these two to start so you'll start with those two with this color You already will have those two, so you're ready for five purple, one lilac, five purple, and then number 14 will be a lilac or lavender. I think it's lavender the color, yes, no lilac. Lilac is this one here. So you'll separate the stitches, that's the trick about fur aisle, you have to separate the stitches to give a nice, uh, um, leave a nice um, a strand in the back, that way your stitch will be nice and stretchy, okay? So always separate your stitches and go to the tip of your needle to do the next stitch. So I have to do five of the dark purple, so that is one, two, three, four, and five. And we have a heat wave since yesterday and right now it's a storm coming. I just had a little bit of rain and thunder. So I was playing this and I will stop until the thunder go. So I separate my fire stitches, you see, nice and with a nice space. And you go to the tip of the needle and you do 
your next stitch with this color and you'll see the length of that strand inside. I used to do uh, my fair isle trapping this every two, three stitches and the problem was that my stitches and then got too tight. Leaving the longest five or six, that will be a nice length of this strand. But if uh, more than six, and then you'll have to trap your strand in the back, okay? So now, you see, I did this one in the center. I had to do five more and one uh, lavender. So that's one, two, three, four, and five. Again, you open your stitches and you do, well, I'm going to say the light, light purple. Dark purple, light purple is easy. So I finished number 14 with one stitch. So you start again, number one for the next motif with two at the lighter color, five at the darker one, one at the lighter, five at the darker one, and finish with one at the lighter and I start all over again. So I'll do this quick and I have stopped recording. So that's one, and you have to move your stitches, two, three, four, and five. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to start with two of the light color, but this is good because you will see how you easy is to undo the work. You go to the stitch underneath and you undo that. I was not paying attention, just <laughs> try to finish because it's a storm. You see, you go under the stitches and pull it out, under the stitch and pull it out. I'm ready again to do my work. So now I have to do my two with a light. Trying to rush this, and that's why. So one and two. You see, that's a stitch one and two. Again, of the next fourteen, and you will do. You see, separate the stitches. This will be a short strand, but still, you have to separate your stitches and work the next one and the tip of your needle. So that's one, two, three. Four and five. Open your stitches, and you'll do one of the lighter purple. Again, we are here now. We did that one. We had to do five of the darker one again. One, two, three, four, and five. Again, you open your stitches and you'll finish with one of the lighter color and then you start all over again from number one, you see? So I'll be starting two light purple, five dark purple, one light purple, five dark purple, three light, five dark, one light, five dark, and then you'll continue because it's more than this with three at the light and so on and then you'll finish with one at the lighter color okay so that's what you have to do you follow this chart and you'll have no problem at all I finished the round now with the tail and the working yarn of that lighter color you're gonna do a double knot here to secure the first and last stitch but don't pull it too tight because you don't want to make the stitch too small and at the same time pull in this long strand in here, okay? So then later you will lose that tail. We're gonna work a number 10 and it's one light purple, five dark purple, three light purple, five dark, one light, five dark, three light, five dark, and then again start with number one. 
all is the repetition is the same. Now we're doing the reverse of what we did in the first one. You see? In here. So I already did my two motifs in Spanish until here. The five purple, dark purple. Now you have to start again. And number one with one light, five dark, one, two, three. four and five now you have to do three of the lights so again you open your five stitches and go to the tip of your needle to do your stitch with leaving a nice strand in the back so that's one two and three Open those three stitches and you're going to do five at the dark one. One, two, three, four, and five. Open the stitches. Uh, I don't know if we're here, I left enough. Yeah. So open the stitches and again. You're going to do one, you see, and here we finish the first 14 from here to here. Now we're going to start again. One light purple, five dark ones. One, two, three, four, and five. Move your stitches. Open this five, and now you have to do three light one, two, and three. Open those three. That way, you get a nice space in the back, and now you have to do five one, two, three, four and five and like that you finish your next 14 and you start all over again one light five dark three light five dark one light and start all over again so that's why it's here uh, from 1 to 14 and then again I start from 1 to 14 that way you know that each time uh, you finish in 14 I start all over again exactly like number one in here okay so you're going to continue doing this until you do the entire round and uh, and you're going to finish with five at the dark purple now we're going to work on number 11 and we have to start with three dark purple and then two light purple one dark three light one dark three light and then two you're going to finish with two dark and then you start with three light that means you will have five in here in between these two motifs I I'm going to show you at the beginning of the round because I want to show you how you're going to trap because you finish with five at the dark purple and then you have to do three more that's eight and then if you do this strand without trapping it will be too long okay so now I'm going to trap here this one in order to have it closer to the when it's time to work with it and I always keeping my dark purple in here and my light purple in this hand so what you're going to do you're going to pass it through the first stitch as to net and then you're going to pass this one the light purple as to net and then you're going to pass the dark purple as to net you're going to remove the light purple again and then you're going to take that one out and like that you trap that stitch in here and you did your dark purple stitch. I will show you again. You're going to come here as to net. Open these five. Remember you have to open that way you get a nice long strand from this one. And then you wrap as to net with the light purple. You pass the dark purple as to net. 
you lift that one out of the way to the back and then you pass that one through and like that you just trap that one and you are ready to continue with row 11. We have to do the two the three because I, I already did it in Spanish let me do one more that way you are exactly the same after you do the first one where you trap the thing you only have to do two more but since here we are in between a motif because I already recorded in Spanish you will have five and remember always to open your stitch and now you have to do two light purple one dark three light one dark open the stitches two light open your stitches and two dark and that is 14 the stitches and then you start all over again but in here you see you finish here and then you have to start it like in here three dark and that makes five in between motifs so you start with three dark one two and three Open those five stitches to light. Those two are open. One dark. Three light. Open your stitches. You have to open these ones to do one dark. Two light, and two dark, and like that you finish your second motif, and again you start with three light, two dark, and so on. It's the same repetition over and over. We're going to work at number 12, and it's three dark purple, three light, one dark, one light, one dark, three light, two dark. And then we start again with three dark and so on. So we start with three. Dark. Open your stitches because there are five. Now we're going to do three light. One. Two. And three, open your stitches. We have to do one light, one dark, sorry. One light now. One dark. Open your stitches. And we're going to do three light. Open the stitches to dark. One and two. And you finish there your first motif. Now again you start all over again like from one to fourteen, but in here. So you have to start with three, so in total will be five. So one two and three open your stitches you have to do three light one two and three open your stitches one dark See if I left enough space here. Now one light, 
one dark, three light, one, two, and three, and two dark. And like that you finish your second motif. Now you start again with three dark at the purple and then three light and so on. We're going to work in 13 and 13 the space will be seven of one color and seven of the other one. So you have to trap the strand in the back because it will be too long. So I already did these two motif in Spanish. Now I'm going to start in English. So I finish with three dark purple and then in 13 you have to start with four purple. So that will be seven. So I'm going to do one more uh, purple to have, uh, dark purple to have four, and then in number five, uh, I will trap. That will be in number two at the beginning of the stitch, okay? So I have three. I will do four because I want to trap my stitch. And to trap this one, you're going to do the same. You pass that one as to net, pass this one as to net, remove the light purple and pass the dark one. You have five, six, and seven. That will, will be the four that you start with. If you can't, you will have seven. <laughs> that tail, I keep moving up. So now you're going to do seven at the light purple. So you will do four and then five again, you will trap this time the darker one. So one, two, three, and four. Open your stitches and to trap the darker one is a little bit different. You're gonna pass through the stitch as to net and under the purple. You yarn over the needle with the light you lift that one and pass the light color and you have a trap there and then you have five six and seven open your stitches move again and you have to you see those five and then you finish with three and start with four that will be the next seven so if you will do one two and three to finish those 14 and then you have to start with four so in number four here that will be in the first one at the next motif i will trap this one that way it's not too long again i will pass under that one yarn over oh <laughs> i'm doing the wrong way i'm doing like i'm gonna trap this one sorry that one has to net that one remove it and pass that one. You have four, five, six, and seven. Open your stitches. Now you're going to start with this one and you'll do seven but you will do four, trap the stitch and continue. So one, two, three, and four, open those four. Now you're gonna trap this one is the dark purple and now as you do this, pass under that purple, yarn over this one, lift that purple and pass that one. You have five, six, and seven. Now you're gonna finish those four, three, 14 with three at the dark purple. One, two, and three. And again, you will start in here with four. So the first one you will trap, that way it's not too long the strand behind. And then you do the other, and I will show you that. So you have three, uh, number four. You do like to net with this one. You pass that one, move that one out of the way, and pass in here, and already that st strand is behind that one. And you have four, five, 
six and seven. So in between each color, you have seven at the other one. And then now you'll do seven at the light, trapping in number five, and then seven at the dark, and so on. Always trapping between uh, stitch five or at the beginning, it will be a stitch four at the beginning of each uh, motif when you finish with We're going to work in row 14 and for you guys it will be five of the dark purple before you do the two light because you finish with three from the round before, round 13, and you start with two purple, dark purple, that will be five, the separation that you have to have for this one. But for mine, because I already done two of these in Spanish, I only will have three, okay? So you start 14 with two dark purple, you open those stitches and then you'll do two light, one dark, two light, one dark, two light, one dark, two light, one dark. And that will be 14 stitches. So we start with two dark, so two light, one dark, So you will do two light, one dark, two light, one dark, two light, and you'll finish with one dark. And you can guide yourself for your 14 with this first stitch of the light. Purple. Okay, so that is 14 in there. So again, you will start, but in here with two dark, so it will be three uh, dark stitches in between motif. So you move your stitches, make sure that you always move your stitches, it will make uh, things easier. So you start with two dark, so now you have three, and then you'll do two light, one and two, one dark, two lights, one dark, two light, one and two, one dark, two light, and one dark. And you will see that I'm on top at this one that is number 14. And at that, you're going to continue working your stitches all the way around, okay? So it's easy because you're guiding yourself by the graph, okay? We're going to start at 15 with one dark purple, five light, three dark, and five light. And that's 14, okay? And then we start all over again with one light, uh, one dark, five light, and so on. So... Gonna start with one dark, five lights, one, two, three, four, and five. Open those five, three dark, one, two, and three. Open those stitches and five stitches with a lighter color. And like that is your 14 stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. And you finish your first 14. And then you start again with number one. Open those stitches and it is one dark and five light. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you do three dark. Always open those five stitches. You have to remember that. One, two, and three. Open those three and five 
light. And like that, you finish your 14 again. One, two, three, four, and five. And again, you open those five and start with one dark. I finished 15. Now we're going to start 16. And the 16 is the reverse of what we have done so far. Now the blank is squares, it will be with a lighter color and the X will be with the darker pur purple. So 16 will be two light purple, two dark, one light, two dark, one light, two dark, one light, two dark, one light. But since we finish with five lights in here plus two, it will be six, so we have to trap the darker one in the back, that way it's not as long. So I wanted to show you the beginning of the round, that way you can see how we're going to trap that. So you're going to work in here like to knit this one, you go under that one, you jump over the tip of the needle, lift that one and pass that one and you trap this one in the back. So that's one and two of the light purple to star number 16. So before I continue, I wanted to mention, if you don't want to do this uh, motif with two colors, just one solid color, what you do is you continue as so far as you've done, all the X with the lighter color, and then the empty square with the darker one, okay? But for mine, it will be a two color motif. So you already done two at the light to start with. That was... I sh how I show you here by the marker. So then you're going to do two dark, one light, two dark, one light, two dark, One light, two dark, and one light, and you have your 14 stitches. Now again, you start all over again, but this time in here with two light, two dark, one light, two dark, one light, two dark, one light, two dark, one light. So two light, that will be three lights in between motifs now. And one, two dark, all is opening the stitches, one light, two dark, one light, two dark, one light, two dark and you finish with one light and then you start again with two light, two dark and so on. So for 17 you will start with four light color and in 16 you finish with one so that will be five light so you don't have to trap at the beginning the strand but you will have to trap the light one behind this darker one and the dark one behind this light one because it's seven 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 okay three to end and four to begin the next motif so in here i have the three to end this one so i will do four now for five that i had to trap i will come here go under yarn over i have five six and seven that will be your four to start with that you don't have to trap it remember in the beginning only after you do the first motif is where you have to start trapping in here so now we're going to do seven of the dark so we have to trap the light so that's one two three Four, open your stitches, you're going to trap the light, so you come here, 
I can do it again the wrong way. You're going to trap the light. You pass the light first. And then the dark. Remove the light and pass the dark. Sometimes you'll see it here, but when you pull it back, it's gone. So I have five, six, and seven. So you'll do seven of the light because it's three to end and four to start. One, two, three to end the motif. You see, and number 14, and four to start, but you will do one more. And then you trap the dark one in the back. And to do that, you'll pass through the stitch under and over, left that one out, and pass it through. So you have five, six, and seven at the light. Now seven at the dark. One. Two, three, and four. Pass the yarn like you're gonna knit with a light one. You pass the dark one, remove the light, and you have five at the dark one, six, and seven. And now you'll finish with three other light. Plus now four other light to start the next motif. And when you do the first one and the next one, when you do your first and here, other four, you will trap and the next one the stitch. Okay. So here in number 18, you have to start with three light, three dark, one light, one dark, one light, three dark, two light. So since we finish. Uh, 17 with three light and three more is six so I want to trap at the beginning just in that beginning um, the strand because after is only five stitches I don't need to trap so yes at the beginning you're gonna trap the first one so you're gonna pass through the light and then under the dark yarn over the needle lift that one and do your stitch so that's one, and then now you have to do two more light color. And the dark one is already So trapped. you have that stitch done, so you have to do two more of the light colors. That's three. Now you will do three dark, one, two, and three, one light one dark, one light, three dark, one, two, and three, and two of the light to finish those 14. And remember all is open your stitches, okay? So now again you start with three light for the next 14. So that will be five in here, this five in between motif. So that is one, two, three, four, a total of five. Open those stitches, always open use the stitches, and then three in the dark. Open your stitches. One of the light, one of the dark, one of the light, three of the dark, open your stitches, and two of the light to finish those other 14. And like that, you're going to continue all the way around. So for 19 is the beginning. And the separation here is exactly as 18. So you're going to start with three uh, light purple, two dark, one light, three dark, one light, three da two dark, and two light. So the space in between motif will be five light purple stitch. So you start with two, with three, sorry. 
infinite booster one, two, and three. Now you're going to do two dark, one and two, one light, three dark, one, two, and three, one light, two dark, and two more light and that's your 14 stitches now you start again with three light that will be the that the two at the end and the three at the beginning is the five stitches in between you open those five and you do two dark one light, three dark, open the stitches, one light, two dark, and you finish with two light, and start again with three light, and that will be the five stitches in between motifs, okay, so now you start again with three light. We're going to start number 20 and you start the first stitch with the dark purple and then 5 light purple, 3 dark, 5 light and then you start all over again, that's 14 with 1 uh, dark and 5 and 3 and 5, that's the other 14. So you start with 1 light, 5 dark, 1 two, three, four, and five, now three, dark, remember all is to open those five stitches and then in the tip of the needle you're going to do the first one, one, two, and three, open those three, five lights, one, two, three, and five and you done your 14 stitches now you're going to do again your next 14 that is start with one dark so open these five stitches and the tip of the needle you do that dark and then five light one two three four and five open those five stitches and you're gonna do your three dark so in the tip of the needle you do the first one one two and three open your stitches and you do your five light one two three four five and you start all over again that's your next 14 stitches you start all over again with the one dark five light three dark five light and so on we're going to start 21 and we're going to start with dark two dark five light one dark five light and the 14 will be a dark and then again you will start with two uh, dark that will be three in between so you always start Number one and two and row twenty one to dark and then you open those stitches and do five light one two three four and five you're gonna open those five stitches and then you're gonna do one light dark and then again five light one two three four and 
turn five, open those stitches, you finish with one. And now again you start with two, that will give you the three in between. And then you open those three and do five. One, two, three, four, and five. Open those five, a dark one, five more light ones, one, two, three, four, and five, open those five, and you'll finish number 14 with a dark one, and then you start all over again with two dark, and that will give you the three in between. I finished this part of the uh, cowl or neck warmer, so now we're going to work in this, the top part with this graph, so we work the first time like this, now I'm going to work like this. I'm going to start marking each time I do a round from the 14, 13, 12 and come down uh, and when I finish in round 5 I will start number 4 and then I will start from here this way. Now it will be the reverse of what we did um, at the beginning, okay? So with this one you're going to work those one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten round, and then I will meet you here to continue with this part of the piece. After that, we're gonna work those four round, and then the one by one border on the other side, but with this color. So now I'm gonna work this one the same way. I'm gonna weave this one the same way as I did in here. And then when I weave a few times, I will cut that uh, strand, okay? So now I'm finished with this part. We're going to work in this design, and I went over with the darker purple marker, and I made them darker. That way it's easier for me when I'm working with the yarn. And then I put here one, two, three, and those four uh, round that we're gonna do. So first we're gonna start with one of the lighter color and then one dark, three light, one dark, three light, one dark until you finish with two light to create the three at the end. And then you'll start then in the number two with three dark, one light, three dark, one light and then one dark, one light, three dark, one light and then three light, one dark. After you finish with that round, you're going to start the one by one rib. You can cut the darker purple. And then we'll start with the one by one rib for two inches. Okay? So we're almost done. I already did my first stitch. That way I don't lose. I have to place the marker. And then I'm going to do my first stitch. And here with this one. And then I'm gonna grab these three and this side, leave the tail in there, and I'm gonna do oops, three of the light one. One, two, and three. Now one of the dark, and I always remember to separate your stitches, one of the dark. One, two, and three of the light. One of the dark. One. Two. And three. And one of the dark. And like that you're going to continue three and one. And you're going to finish with two of the light one. And number two. 
3 dark 1 2 and 3 1 light 3 dark 1 light and always opening the stitches that way the strand in the back is nice and loose Three dark and one light and like that you're gonna continue all the way around and you're gonna finish with a light color stitch now in number three you're gonna start with one dark one light three dark one, two, and three. Open the stitches, one light, three dark. Now you continue like that with one light, three dark, one light, three dark, and you start with one dark, and you're going to finish with two dark. Purple, darker purple. Now in number four is three light, one dark. I already did this one in Spanish, but I already did the dark, so it's three light. So I start from the beginning, three light, and then the next one. Is one dark, three light, open the stitches, one dark, and like that you're going to continue all the way around. I finish round four, we finish with that, and we finish with the dark purple. So this is still the leftover at that ball that I showed you at the beginning. And I'm still working with the first one of this one, okay? So now we're gonna do one round of net before we do the one by one rib. And we're gonna do with the lighter color. At the same time, I'm gonna be weaving the purple and later I will cut This, the strap. We have a little bit longer, and I'm doing this round of net before I do the round of one by one rib. Because if I do the one by one rib, that last stitch of the dark purple, it will change to a pearl and you want to look as a net. That's why you have to do this extra round before um, you do the one by one rib. <laughs> and I, my marker just came out, so I had to undo the little piece and place my marker back. Okay, so do the round of, one, uh, of net, and you can cut this one, let me cut. And you're done with that, okay? So I finished that round, now we're going to work one net, one pearl until you have almost the two inches of one by one rib and I say almost because the last two rounds that we're going to do is a tubular bind off so it will be exactly the same as the first two rounds that we did to cast on or stitches, okay? That's why you have to do almost two inch, but not quite the two inch of one by one rib. And then uh, after that, we will cast off or bind up our stitches with our tapestry needle, okay? 
So I will meet you here when I'm done my one by one bread. Now I'm going to do the two round of um, tubular bind off. So you're going to do exactly the same as you start your piece. You're going to do a net, yard to the front as to pearl, and you're going to pass the pearl without working. Yard to the back, a net, yard to the front, you're going to pass the pearl without working. Yard to the back. A net, yarn to the front, a pro with a work, yarn to the back, a net, yarn to the front, a pro with a work. And like that, you're going to continue all the way until the end of this round. I finished that round, now we're going to work in the last one, and it's the opposite. Now we're going to pass the net without working, and we're going to work the pearls. Yarn to the back, pass the net, yarn to the front, pearl. Yarn to the back, pass the net, yarn to the front, pearl. And just remember when you pass the net, you pass them from the front like this. And then and like that, you're going to do the, this last round. I finished the round, now we're going to work with the tapestry needle. So now you have to cut a very long strand. Remember, it's better to have extra than be too short to have to undo those last two rounds because you cut too short your strand. Okay, otherwise you will have a seam in the top and you want this to be nice and even. So, if you see, I'm cutting a very long strand in order to do this part. Okay, now I'll pass it through my tapestry needle and we start doing the casting off. We're going to start by passing the first stitch, the first net stitch, and the pearl from the front to the back through your needle. And passing the strand through, and then you're gonna go that stitch. And when you pull here, make sure that they are pretty close to each other here. Don't pull, don't yank, <laughs> but just make sure that they're close. Let me get this a little bit closer, that way you can see much better. So now we're gonna work the front. That is the next stitch. So when you grab this one in here, you see, you can see in the center here the strand pulling and pulling this one in here. And then you're going to pass those two together. And you have to make sure that you don't pull this too tight. And you have to be careful not to, to create a knot. Now we're going to pass the pearl. Now you come to the back end here, at that pearl that you pass, and you're going to grab that pearl. And when you pull that pearl, you see, the strand in the center here is the one you're pulling. And then you're going to grab this one, and you're going to pass it as to next. You see, you pass it from the back to the inside out, and then from the front to the back. And you're going to pass them through. And with practice, you get much better at this. Okay. Let's just, if it was a single strand uh, yarn, it will be much easier to do. So now, in the front. So if you look, this net row, you're going to grab this one. And here it's always hiding in the side. And when you pull that one, you're pulling this strand in the center and that one. You're going to grab those two like this now the inside when you grab this one you can see that one a little bit better pass through that one and you see if I pull this the strand in the center there is the one I'm pulling and you grab from the out 
and as to net, you see, like that you put the stitch to net or the needle and like that you pass your And the front again, you see, you're going to see this side of the net and then the other one and the other side, that one is hiding under in here. That's the one you have to look for. And when you find it, you pass your needle through and then this one in here, you pass those through and then you're going to do the same with the pearl. And I start to look like this, you see, a much better finish. Now we have to do the back. So you see, if you look at here, I don't know if you can see well, but when you pull this one, not the one that is straight, you see the line is straight, is the one sideways here. Make sure that you grab this three strands if you're working with three strands. So you see, when I pull this one, you can see this one in the center, you see, moving. So you grab that one and that one this way and you pass them through. Now this one in the front is just right here. You see now you can just start to see them even better. And this one. Once you do a few, it's get easier and easier. Okay. And then here you can see this one and here. Okay. So if you look at that one, you follow that one that is in between and it's in this one here. Make sure that you grab the three strands when you pull, you see you're moving that one and you pass that one here. The first time I did this type of bind off it didn't look the same but after you get the practice but you have to pass exactly how I'm telling you otherwise it will be different you don't get the same results okay so again the one in the back from the inside you go through the inside out tower you and then then the pearl from the front in like that and that makes things easier. Yeah. So like that, you're going to continue all the way until the end. And this one is always from the side like this. I was like this. This two. And then at the end, I will show you how you're going to finish this um, type of band off, tubular band off. And if you don't pass your needle like you're supposed to, it will be totally different. You don't get the same result neither. Okay? So that's important. And look how nice that looks. Nice and brown. So I will finish this and when I get to the end, I will show you how you're going to close the work.
I passed the last one that was the Pro here in the back and you see look at this a little bit of that I have left and now to finish in here what we're gonna do is pass this net and the first net that we pass that's right like so and then in the back you're gonna grab the pearl and the first pearl in here and you're gonna pass them together and like that you finish and it's nice and even now you will weave the strand through the inside and lose the tails this is how I look in the inside all the strand nice and even and now this is the way that look once you finish and look how gorgeous that look and this is with a hat it's a amazing looking set so i hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber and if you make any of these pieces or any of my pieces and you want to send me some picture you can do it through my facebook page ruby Stedman crochet or my instagram ruby Stedman crochet please share my video with friends and family that way you help me grow here in youtube i wish you have a beautiful day